Hey everybody, testing out the audio, getting set up. Before I get going, I want to play um, Frankie's Feast for everybody so you can see the finger puppets in action. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun. Um, but let me test out the audio real quick. Let me know if it sounds weird or the music's too quiet or whatever you think about the audio. <laughs> be on soon. Okay, so before I get going here, I'm going to show you a finger puppet show that I made uh, using these finger puppets that we're actually going to be crocheting today. And then once it's over, I'll be back uh, and start the stream. Um, so it's about five minutes, uh, and I really like it a lot. I hope you guys like it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just oh, muted the wrong thing. All right. <laughs> here we go, guys. Be on soon. We all know what happens on All Hallows' Eve, but I have a story for you you would not believe. The day after Halloween, our story begins. No more candy or costumes or carved up pumpkins. The doc needed a vacation. He was going to Rome, leaving poor little Frankie at home all alone. Doc knew the worst thing he could have on his hands was a hungry green monster making violent demands. So the pantry was stocked. It was filled to the brim. There was no need to worry. There was plenty for him. Alas, the first day, he ate it all up. There was not a trace left, not even a cup. A still rumbling stomach was all he could feel. So Frankie went out in search of a meal. At the first sight of Frankie, the villagers screamed. Their torches were lit. Their pitchforks all gleamed. Off in the distance, in an old cemetery, was a lone little zombie. His name was Gary. Gary saw Frankie being chased down the street and wanted to help, so he got his two feet. He stumbled on down as quick as he could and coaxed Frankie away off the road to the woods. There they were hidden, and Gary could see that Frankie was starving with an empty belly. This was his chance. He could finally cook. There was only one problem. He needed a book. See, when he was alive, Gary was a great chef, but his brains were all eaten. There was nothing left. Just then, in the distance, they heard a harsh cackle. It was one of two things, a witch or a jackal. Gary got an idea, which was rare, indeed. Witches have books, which is just what I need. So they left in a hurry, though they somewhat just stumbled, as Frankie's poor stomach continued to rumble. There on the corner of Toil and Bubble lived Clara the Witch, who was known to be trouble. What is it? yelled Clara as she opened the door. Right behind her were laying some books on the floor. Gary quickly explained, We need recipes! Just this one time to help Frankie. Pretty please. I think I can help his hunger and thirst. We just need to find the ingredients first. I know just the guy, said drooling Green Gary, but just be forewarned, he is kind of hairy. So they went rather quickly to meet Gary's friend. They had to go far to the forest's dark end. Gnawing a bone under the bright moonlight was Rufus the werewolf, out for a bite. Rufus explained they had nothing to fear, for earlier that night, he had caught a huge deer. That's just what I need, said Gary with glee. Ingredients in hand, they started to flee. Back at Frankie's home with the werewolf's fresh game, the witch had her pot and conjured a flame. Gary worked quickly to make his creation as the doc headed home early from vacation. Frankie was restless and wanted to eat. So Gary worked fast and promised him meat. Just as Gary completed his work, each placemat was set with a knife 
spoon and fork. Supper was ready. They all took their place. Then the door opened, right during grace. What are you doing? Why are you here? Frankie was hungry. He wanted some deer. Never before had Doc seen such a feast, especially one from a cook who's deceased. Doc joined them for dinner, and it could be said, we can all work together, spooky, scary, or dead. Boo! All right, so this is the behind the scenes of our Frankie video. And uh, here you can see the set. <laughs> there we can see a little Frankie and a little Gary popping up. Um, it's just a light box. And the cool thing is all the backdrops are stacked. Sorry, that ended abruptly. <laughs> I was trying to set up the pattern to be free. One second real quick, guys. I'll be on in just a sec. I want to make the witch pattern free for you so you can crochet along with me um, just for the stream. Um, so just give me, like, like, just one second. I'm almost done. Hold on. I'm almost there. Good boy. Glad you Ah, gee whiz. I was like, I can do this. I can do this. I can't do it. Almost, almost done. All right. Okay. I think I fixed it. Okie dokie, everybody. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hello to the chat. Hello, everybody. I hope you like my finger puppet show. I really am proud of that. Me and my cousin wrote that um, a few years ago, and we just, uh, uh, I turned it into a finger puppet show, and I'm just so proud of it. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Today, we are going to be crocheting some finger puppets. Um, I did a poll online to see which one of your these finger puppets you guys wanted me to make. I think I'll have time for two, um, maybe three, uh, but the ones you guys did choose were the most difficult of them. So today we're going to be making the witch, which is every, what everyone voted on. So what I went ahead and did is make the witch pattern for free um, just for the stream uh, while you guys were watching that. So you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash witch. Um, that's where you can find the free tutorial and uh, you can find all the tutorials right there at clubcrochet.com slash Halloween down there So let me talk about what you need for this pattern before we get going and then uh, and then we'll get rock and rolling That rhymed uh, Completely on purpose I can't find I have a darting needle somewhere, but oh there it is. It's I had it on prep all right, so for this pattern, you're gonna need the following materials. Now, I'm gonna be using all worsted weight yarn and 100% cotton, as I usually do, just because I really like doing that. For the witch, you're gonna need green, purple, yellow, uh, and then you, if you wanna make a broom here, you'll need a little stick and some brown yarn uh, for the little fuzz there. Uh, and then we're also gonna be trying to make a, a little vampire Dracula and for Dracula, I'm going to have to go get the materials for this one. I didn't get these ones prepped yet because it's going to be a second anyhow. But for this one, you'll need black, off-white, maroon, gray, uh, and then white. So it's really nice to have off-white and white be somewhat like a subtle difference, even though you can't really tell that much. Uh, but there is like a subtle difference between the colors if you want to make it. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so... That's the materials that you need. Now, before, like, while you guys are getting that, uh, let me talk about how you can support this channel, which Tina already rocked and rolled way ahead of schedule. So, hold tight. I'll explain what that means. Okay. So, uh, for, if you like this channel and you like to help support it, uh, there's a few ways you can do so. The first way and uh, bestest, easiest way is just to like this video down below. Like it, subscribe to the channel, um, share my 
work with anybody, any crocheters that you like, that you're like, hey, you're gonna really like this crochet dude. Um, that's the easiest, freest, bestest way. Now the, well, I guess it's not the bestest way because the really the bestest way is with the Club Crochet membership. Uh, members get early access to future patterns. They get access to all the patterns on the website, including all of these Halloween patterns and these ghost patterns and this brand new pattern right here. Oh my God, Jenny, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll get to that in a second too. Um, this is this month's pro kit. Uh, every month we do a new crochet kit that gets mailed to everyone's door and we crochet it together. This month you got the choice of either making Audrey 2, aka the carnivorous alien plant right here. This is one I actually recorded the video for it last night. So the pattern's gonna be out probably tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. Um, or you could have chosen the ghost kit, which makes four different ghosts and is a lot easier of a kit than that one. Now next week we're actually going to be crocheting the ghosts. So if you want to, I made it so um, the ghost kit is for sale uh, with a discount code. So in the description, uh, if you want to buy it now, the only way you're really, like I can guarantee that you'll get it by next week is if you're in the United States and if you order it today. But if you order it today in the United States, you can get a crochet ghost kit. Look how cute this is, I made this. Isn't that a cute little sticker? So it comes with all the materials that you need and for making what we're gonna be making next week. And if you use the code GHOSTBUSTER, or Ghostbuster, I don't know, it's in the description, the, the discount code, um, you'll get $5 off. So I just thought it'd be like a fun way to get prepared uh, for next week's live stream. And obviously I'm gonna talk about that more a little bit later. But yeah, pro memberships get you monthly kits. Uh, you can get a free trial and uh, all the info is in the description. There's also merch, um, skibbity bobbity boo Oh yeah, and then the other way you can help support. Let me move these guys because we're gonna start to fill the background. Because the other way you can help support is with a donation. Um, you can either super chat or tip by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. And whoever, if you would like to tip, we put, I'm gonna put out something new for everybody that tips and put it on the screen. Oh, by the way, here's the new pins that I just added to the store. So if you wanna get these new pins, they're pretty cool. Um, okay, so yeah, if you would like to tip, you can down there, and I'll give you a sweet little shout out and say thank you so much. Uh, we'll start with Tina. Tina, thank you so much. Today, for helping tip, I actually have a bunch of Halloween themed crocheted things for us. So, Tina, I'm gonna put out this little ghost. This is a little ghost from Luigi's Mansion that I made a long time ago for a stop motion Luigi's Mansion thing that I made. So. I'm gonna put this right here for you, Tina. Thank you so much. And then Johnny, knocking it out of the park with a $20 donation right out the get-go. Thank you. Um, ooh, ooh, let's do, I mean, $20? I think that deserves a pumpkin cat. So, Johnny, this pumpkin cat's gonna be out just for you. Thank you so much for your guys' support. I really, really appreciate it. You're making my dreams come true. I'll put that right there. And we're going to try to fix the focus so that it stops changing like that. And we're going to get crocheting here. So I'm going to start by making the hat for our witch. And hello to the chat, by the way. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get prepped today. I woke up late and then I realized that I didn't have any coffee. So I had to go out to the street and get coffee. It was like a whole thing. It was like a whole thing. I was hoping Jules would help, but then she she had to go to a, an event and I totally forgot. And I was like, oh no, I really should not have slept in. But it's okay, I'm here. <laughs> All right. I know, I know, I forgot to do, to add the pug and, uh, and frogs to the, to the website, I'm so sorry. I remembered it last night, like really late, like at 2 a.m. last night. I was like, oh no, I forgot to put those patterns up. They're gonna get upset. See, I knew it, chirp a little. I know, I'm sorry. I will get it up there ASAP though, I promise. I really, really will. Okay, so one thing I wanna try doing for this hat pattern this time is um, I actually made a, 
Yeah. No, never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. Well, don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. <laughs> How's the music, by the way? Is it loud enough? I like that the chat's on screen again. I kind of wish it was orange, but that's okay. I, I'll forgive myself, eventually. For my transgressions. Oh, Cooperlicious donated too? Man, why didn't it come up for me? Dude! Thank you for letting me know, though. I'm so sorry I didn't see that before. Cooper, thank you! Is the Stitch Kickstarter almost ready? Let me talk about that in a second. But before I do, let's go with, um, oh, this is a rare, this is a rare one for you, Cooper. Maleficent. Now, I don't even have a pattern for this. I just, uh, I made this finger, or this, it's not even a finger puppet. It's just a pod puppet. And I made this, like, six years ago, maybe? Like, before Club Crochet was a thing. Um, so, it's just for you. I, I haven't put this out there in a long time, so I was waiting for a, a good donation. So, thank you so much, Cooper. Seriously, thank you. And I'm sorry I missed it. Um, I need to, I needed to, like, open a thing. So, thank you for letting me know. Um, will I save this live? Yes, this live stream will be saved after uh, the stream. You can find all the live streams by just going to clubcrochet.com slash live. And that's where I put all of my live streams. Now, the start of this hat is a little complicated. So let me just get the first round done here. Let's see. Stitch. There we go. Looks like just like a mess of knots right now, but I can see what's going on. Okay. Did you know we <laughs> Yes. Okay, wait. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Cool. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Hi, Amy Groomy Girl. Hi, everybody in the chat. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a nice Sunday out here. It is, like, perfect outside. The There was, like, no parking spots outside of our house because everybody's going to the beach today. September through November in San Francisco is our summer, so we get, like, the best weather of all time during those times. So it is really nice outside. I'm sure after the stream I'll go put my toes in the in the ocean for a little while maybe we'll see this might go this might be a nice long live stream because I might not want to stop because I want to make a swamp monster too that was the third highest rated vote was a swamp monster I got fuzz all in this light box because my cat Phoebe keeps going to sleep in it <laughs> isn't that funny it's so cute she keeps jumping up and going to bed in it. XXX Wolf, hello, how are you? Um, I am crocheting a witch finger puppet right now from my finger puppet show. Uh, her name is Clara. So we're making Clara the finger puppet witch. And the pattern's actually, uh, I just made it free. Frog and Friends will be up soon. I'm so, so sorry. I, I totally forgot to put them up uh, last night. And then I realized it, like, way too late. But uh, yesterday I was working on the, the this month's Club Crochet pattern, the um, Audrey 2. So it took a long time to, like, make video was like a three hour recording session which is pretty exhausting to do I gotta say explaining every single stitch uh, for three hours in front of this front of the light box can be pretty exhausting so I yeah I didn't have the time to add the frog and friends I just totally totally skipped my brain I'm so sorry you want to see the swamp monster so bad okay one second I'll show you the swamp monster it's right um, right here is our swamp monster. This was actually a new pattern from last month. Um, 
It's got, it's actually got the ears and the fin of a uh, seahorse. And then the rest of it actually is pretty simple. It's, it's essentially just like a, a pod puppet pattern. My like basic pod puppet pattern. Like if you make the witch, if you made the body all green and then added some seahorse fins to it and this little mouth, and you'd have it. How'd you get a tan from the light box? Oh, does it look like I have a tan? I, um, what's weird is this light box. So I added this, um, like this, you know, orange fabric on the outside of the light box here. And what's weird is it, uh, it like messes with the color of my camera. So I had to like adjust the color a bunch before the stream. Whoops. Oh, Johnny, you know, you gotta, you gotta fix, you gotta fix things sometimes for your boyfriend. Tell him to stop breaking his bookshelf. Cammy girl is knitting. What are you knitting? What you making? What's everybody making? Shout out to what everybody's crocheting or knitting or painting or, uh, whittling. <laughs> in the chat. Is anybody whittling? I used to whittle a lot. I'm going uh, with no stitch marker here. I'm living life on the edge. Living life on the edge. <laughs> Takoyaki's making an octopus. You're always crocheting octopi. I think Takoyaki was doing a live crochet along with an octopus recently, so. <laughs> I, I have more of a tan. I mean, I am pretty white. Look at that. That is like, that's pretty blindingly white. But if you say so. Johnny's crocheting a llama. Oh, that's awesome. I need to do a llama pattern. That would be so fun. And a... Zoe's making burbs. I'm, I want to work on a new burb. I want to do a crow before the end of the um, of October. I want to do a crow burb and add it to the, to the site. But man, there's so many patterns I want to add to the website this month. In October, I'm always like, go, go, go. I want to make so many things. I'm just like, I get so inspired in October to crochet. I wonder if that goes around. Does everybody else feel that way? Does October like seem like your month of, of heavily crochet inspiration? Heavily crochet inspiration? Crochet inspiration, Hooktober. I wish I uh, did Hooktober this year. Last year, um, I tried to do a Hooktober, which was like every single day of the month I crochet something new and post a picture of it. But it's only day three, and I've already messed it up. So, <laughs> so you can see how the see how the hats turning out there. The fall weather. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because for me, the fall weather just means that it's nice and warm. Like I even have an iced coffee today. Wow. Cinderai. Sin is making some Halloween stuff. Tina, you got snow in Denmark? That's awesome. I want snow. You know, I've only seen it snowing like three times, ever. Look at this. Oh, by the way, check out my shirt. This is in the shop. It's, I call it the, um, the pocket monster shirt. It's a little ogre with a crochet hook. I made it and put it in the shop. Actually, my friend drew it, but. I got it. I got it. I, I bought it. <laughs> okay, so where are we at here? So. Gonna make 
sure I'm on track. stitches in a sec. Next time instead of donating, buy a t-shirt, Johnny. <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to also mention, if you become a member during this live stream, I'll put something out for you as well. Um, I get little notifications on my phone when people sign up for a membership. So if you end up signing for up for a membership, uh, and I don't notice it, um, I will uh, pinch myself. No, I will <laughs> put something out for you. Please let me know if I missed it. Okay, let's count my stitches real quick. I think this is the end of the round. Oh, yeah! Man, I swear, crocheting for me at this point <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I could. Um, crocheting for me at this point is like so second nature. <laughs> it's just like, I feel like I use the, like this part of my brain, like the littlest part right, right over here, and it lets m the rest of my brain do whatever I want. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing a pattern that I've already made. You know, I'm not like designing it for the first time. Oh, Cold-Blooded Adventures, happy birthday! Happy birthday. Here, let me, how about we put out um, something for your birthday? Let's see. Where is, I think I put Long Pigeon away with his birthday hat. So I don't have him. He would be perfect. He'd be perfect for this. Let's go with. What's a good birthday thing to put out? A pie? Do I have any pies or cakes? I thought I did. Oh, here. A little present. I'm not going to tell you what's in it, Cold-Blooded Adventure. You got to open it yourself. But, here. This is for you. There's a little present that's just for you, Cold Blooded Adventures. Happy birthday. I actually don't know what's in it. Is there anything in it? Oh, yeah. There's something in it. <laughs> I want to make a little mini ghost. Maybe I'll do that next live stream. But yeah, next week, by the way, uh, did I say that? Yeah, I did. Next week, we're making ghosts. We're crocheting uh, a bunch of different kinds of ghosts. And the <coughs> the new competition or the new contest is going to start next week, too. We're going to be doing a contest where everybody crochets ghosts with little costumes on them for Halloween. Love the music, huh? Thank you. So I think we are on track here. Oh my gosh, Hannah, it's your birthday too. Happy birthday, Hannah. Okay, hold on, now I gotta put, oh boy. We're just gonna have a whole birthday stream where everything's gonna be birthday gifts behind here. Let's see. What do we got for another birthday? Let's see. <laughs> How about another, like a little. A little birthday. This is this is a little star for your birthday. Let's see if it'll stay right there. There you go. That's kind of crazy that it stays up like that, huh? Boom. That's for your birthday. 
A little crocheted star for you, Hannah. Happy birthday. No, it's not my birthday. It's it's other people's birthday. My birthday's in January. January 18th. It's gonna be my 30th birthday next year. I know. 30. Yikes. One, two. <laughs> I'm gonna be in, I think I'll be in New York for my birthday in January. So it'll be nice and cold and I'll be shivering and uh, probably playing Stitch. Oh, Cooper, that's right. You asked about Stitch. Is the Stitch Kickstarter ready yet? No, it's not. Okay, so here's what's going on with it. The, um, the pop-out pieces, so I'm making like pop-out pieces for Stitched so that people can like, uh, uh, like make a set and color it instead of just crocheting it for people that don't crochet that still want to play the game and we're still working on like I'm still waiting for the prototypes to be finished so that I can like you know order them because <laughs> I can't I can't release it without having actual pictures and stuff of the stuff of the finished uh, whatever but yeah anyhow But I am working on it, like, weekly. So, it's it's coming, eventually. Once I get my butt in gear more, I guess. Hello, Elizabeth! Welcome! Thank you so much! What you crocheting today? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ilana? Ilana asks if I can give some yarn suggestions. Yeah, I can give you some yarn suggestions. Okay, so um, my favorite yarn that I like to use is the one I'm using right now, which is Lily Sugar and Cream. Um, they're my favorite cotton yarn because uh, they have a lot of different colors. I really like using Lars Julie Cotton for my amigurumi because it's like a kind of, not, I guess not flexible, kind of like moldable, you know, like you can... You can like, like this guy's horn, for example, I can do like this and it like holds its shape more. Do like, do that. So I really like that with my crochet so I can kind of mold my yarn a little bit more. Um, I also really like how defined the stitches are with cotton yarn. That's my favorite cotton yarn. I also really like um, buttercream from Joanne Fabrics. They have this really fuzzy yarn called buttercream and I really like it. Uh, I kind of want to start using it for more patterns, but I just haven't recently. But I, I really like both those yarns, so those are my suggestions. Hello, Livy. How are you doing? I like your cat picture. It looks like uh, my cat, Phoebe. And you probably see a little bit of Phoebe's yarn in this light box because she likes to sleep in it. Even though I tell her not to. second I'm just counting okay um Elizabeth asks uh, oh Elizabeth is making a mushroom in a fox not at the same time you're not making a mushroom fox uh, <laughs> do I use wire to hold shape in mine yeah I do I usually use pipe cleaners I really like using pipe cleaners because they're easier to get a hold of and um, if you get the right ones they're really strong so but I do. Um, this month's club crochet kit. Where did I put it? Did I put it? Oh, it's behind me. This is this month's kit, and it has wire in it. Um, we're making a an Audrey two. This is gonna be. I'm gonna try to get this in the shop next week so that you can order it before the live stream, just like how I'm doing uh, the ghost one this week. 
So, yeah, this is this month's Club Crochet kit, and it's got wire here in the thing, so you can turn it in different ways. But it's actually just a pipe cleaner. It's just a really strong pipe cleaner. That's what I think is important, is getting pipe cleaners that are, are like, the wire in the pipe cleaner is really strong. Okay, Cold Blood Adventures. Bye. Happy birthday again. You should make a pumpkin. We got a few pumpkins, actually. Next person that donates, I'll, I'll put a pumpkin out for him. Or becomes a member, I guess. Let's see, did we get any new members? No new members yet. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, next week we are going to be doing a ghost crochet along. And if you want to get prepared for the ghost crochet along, uh, then and you'd like to order a crochet kit, uh, there are crochet kits out now for all the ghosts. They look like this. And it's got all the materials that you need to make all four ghosts next week. And uh, I actually put them on discount today for $5 off using a code GHOSTBUSTER. I put it in a link in the description. Um, so check out the description if you want to order it. And if you order it today, you'll have it in time for next week's live stream. So if you want to crochet with me next week, that's how to do it. Or be, or if you were a pro member, your kit will get there uh, within the week. So they're all getting shipped out tomorrow. You're playing Animal Crossing? Jules is obsessed with Animal Crossing. You should see her island. It is insane. She plays every day. Legit. I don't... I think she hasn't missed a day in months and months. Amy Groomy Girl, peace out. See you later. Maybe I'll see you later this stream. Thanks for joining. Rebecca burnt herself out with crochet. What'd you make? What'd you make that was so was what what burnt you out? I know, right? I'm taking way too long to crochet. Okay, I'll I'll speed up. It'll get a lot quicker once I start making the body though. Because uh so for these patterns last year. Um, all these finger puppet ones, I made a uh, color chart for them, for each one of them, so that you can crochet them like really, really quick. It's super cool. I'm like really, really proud of them. I really want to start using those color charts more. I just haven't, it was like a big goal of mine this year to make more color charts, but then I didn't <laughs> because life. So that's something I really want to get into again next year is messing with this color chart more because I think it's just such a cool it's just so cool you'll see once I get to the body of our witch they make it really fast to crochet the, the body up okay we have our hat basically done now the most annoying part is sewing the hat onto the body especially when it comes to these finger puppets because all of these finger puppets are really easy to make except for the parts where you got to sew them together so you can see our little hat there okay i will say hi to jules i think you'll be able to say hi to her yourself she'll be back um she went to a yarn store for an event so she'll be back soon. Yeah, it's a cool color chart. Here, let me show you. Um, let me see, how can I show you this? Nice 
nightmare horse. That seems pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that this month, but I mean, never say never. A nightmare horse, I could get super inspired. Okay, so we got our witch hat here. I'm gonna add detail to it a little bit later because I do wanna get started on the body here. But before I do, um, Johnny, let me show you the, what the color chart looks like. Um, how do I do this best? Oh, I'll just take my iPad out. So this is what the color charts look like. This is my um, PDF. See, you see the little color chart there? Um, it's just like a, it, it looks a little crazy, but once you understand what each of the things mean, like each square is a stitch and then you can see they're split in half so you do half color changes on some of them and what I really like is that each of these squares in the PDF are actually check marks so you can keep track of each stitch as you go but yeah they make uh, they make doing these color charts or color change patterns way quick especially when it comes to ones like the zombie you can make them like crazy fast um, and again, if you want to check out this pattern, it's free today at clubcrochet.com uh, slash witch. You can find it there, and it should take you to the pattern for free. The volume is really quiet of me or the background. I'll turn, I'll turn them both up just a little bit. Who said that they made Divine? Divine Rose, is that who did it? Oopsies. <coughs> yeah, Divine Rose made a pumpkin cat with a head way bigger than the body. That's funny. Oh, here. Okay, let me fix the audio a little bit. I'll turn me up even more. Ah! I don't know why it's so quiet, though. Maybe it got turned down somehow. <clears throat> what program is it for that color chart? It's awesome. I actually made it myself um, using, I use Adobe InDesign. Uh, I'm a pretty, pretty big fan of Adobe products, so I know how to use them really well. Um, so yeah, I use Adobe for it. And um, yeah, it's like a the 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 like system that I built for them. I I tried to make it really um, easy to keep building them. So I have a bunch of different ones. I got ones with uh, man, really, I'm still quiet. It's it's like really loud on mine, but hmm. Maybe I can turn it up a little bit more. Here we go. Hello? Hello? How's that? I made myself a little bit louder. Hopefully I'm not too loud now. Um, where can you find the color chart? Just go to clubcrochet.com slash witch or try the zombie one at slash zombie. You can find them both at um, right here though. Clubcrochet.com slash Halloween. But yeah, it's it's a pretty cool little system. Uh, I made it up myself. Basically, every square is a um, every square is a stitch, and then increases are connected by brackets at the bottom of the stitches, so you can tell where the increases are. And then the borders of the stitches determine what the stitch itself is. So like bobble stitches have different borders and spiked bobbles have different borders. And then the colors of the squares themselves are uh, can be split into two. So you can have a top of the stitch and a bottom of the stitch being different colors to really make it easier to do color changes. It's pretty neat. I got to say it's like... Uh, I'm really proud of it, especially when it like the zombie one. On the end 
end of the one that oh, okay so it's not me that's okay well then now I gotta turn myself back down huh I thought that too Pam okay there we go hopefully that's not too loud I don't clip too much oops missed a stitch don't you hate that when you miss a stitch ain't it just the voice Oh, I love this song. I'm going to replay Luigi's Mansion this month. If you have never played the new Luigi's Mansion on the Switch, it's very cool. Yeah, you know what, Brent? That's really funny. Brent uh, commented and said, Hey, Lou, I'm a new subscriber to the monthly Project Boxes. By the way, thank you so much for your support. Seriously. Like, thank you very much, Brent. Um, your question is, <clears throat> can you request easier projects to start out on? I'm pretty new to crochet and the dragon is hard. You know what? Uh, I actually thought that uh, after, once I sent out all the dragon kits, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be so hard for the newbies. I feel so bad. Um, so this month what I did instead, I hopefully you got the email about it. Um, I gave people this, uh, the choice to either choose the Little Shop of Horrors uh uh, Audrey 2 which is a pretty tough pattern or a ghost kit which is like a way way easier kit um, it's actually designed for beginners so that's my uh, like from now on I'm gonna offer especially when there's like really tough patterns <coughs> yeah sorry especially when there's really tough patterns uh, I want to make it so that people have the option to do a much easier kit instead for more beginners um, so Brent I'm really sorry about it being a really tough kit uh, if you want to get started on something a little easier just to get like warmed up to it uh, start with like the ghosts uh, you can find like the ghost pattern we'll be doing it next week uh, it's just clubcrochet.com slash ghost it's a very easy pattern perfect for October um, the octopus pattern is also a great one to start out with. Oh, you picked Audrey too? Well, I can change that for you. I'm sending out the addresses um, later today. So if you want it changed, let me know. Uh, it is definitely more difficult to make the Audrey too. But, um, I mean, I think you can still maybe hopefully do it. See, how did I, where did I mess up there? I messed up. Ah. Whoopsies. But email me if you want. Um... Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah. If you need any extra help, too, uh, let me know. I can I can try to help out as much as possible. If there's any specific stitches that you need help with, um, I can try to show you in the live streams as well. Do I have Ribbler? No, I don't. But I did see Ribbler recently. Um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Brent, please email me and let me know about the ghost, like that you want the ghost kit, um, because I'll go through all, I go through the addresses tonight, uh, and then I, I send over who gets which kit. So it like, I do like a whole thing. My friend is the one um, that helps me put the kits together, so I have to send her them tonight. Okay, so I have, I'm on round one, two, three. See, this is where it comes becomes easy. I'm on round five, where the color changes start. And I know that it's three squares of black, and then we go with green. But it's a half green, half black, and then an all green. Uh, yeah, email me at louis at clubcrochet.com. Or you can email contact at clubcrochet.com. Uh, either one of those will work. But louis at clubcrochet is myself. That is myself me. Oh, yeah, Goblin is also pretty beginner friendly. Anybody that uses fluffy yarn. 
Yeah, okay, Noodle Studio says they're they're having trouble sewing the dragon's lips on. Uh, do I have any tips on which stitches to sew into? Uh, so what I like to do when it comes to that part of the pattern is make the, um, like, try to line it up so that it's straight. So let me show you. Here's the gold dragon from a few weeks ago. You can kind of see how the lip is sewn on there. So I go like a few stitches under the eye there, and then I, um, uh, you, you're trying to work your way from down up to the mouth. So see, it's got kind of a curve up a little bit. And just trying to make sure that all the stitches are as close as you can to each other. And then once you go from the middle of the mouth, you kind of work down. What's really important is making sure all of like the, the accent points. So the corner of the of each of the mouths is just a couple stitches under the eye on both sides. And then the middle is right in the center. So as long as you go from there to there and focus on going from there to there and there to there, then you'll have a lot easier time. I also find it's a lot easier to go from, from the, I, I guess it'd be the dragon's left eye, but if it's looking at you, it'd be the right eye um, to the left. I find it's easiest to go that way around. Hope that helps. Let me know if you need any other help there. Okay, so I just finished round five. I gotta check these off so I don't lose track. I'm on round six. Okay, Rebecca, see you soon. Bees are fun with fluffy yarn. I wanna start getting into making giant crochet things soon. That'd be fun. Oh, these color charts are the best. Seriously, I think I can make like 50 zombies so fast. So fast. Just have a zombie apocalypse. I used to be obsessed with doing color changes. Uh, like, you can see the Maleficent there as is, is a great example of when I was obsessed with doing color changes. I just made everything into these little pod people with as little amount of stitches as I could in the character while still making them look like, um, you know, similar to whatever they are. I really like it. I need to play Super Mario 3D World. I've heard very good things about that, Cooper. Do you like that game? Did you try the um, new one, the Bowser's Fury or whatever? I really wanted to try that one. <laughs> you haven't figured out how to split your attention yet? I would say go one round at a time. So three stitches and then a spiked bobble. Oh, I forgot to make a, a cape. Okay, well, we're gonna get off from crocheting black in the next round, so my black yarn will be free and I can start working on a cape. How many stitches is that for this bag? Three. Man, oh man. I did see the trailer for the new Kirby game. It looks cool. I like the fact that it's 3D. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm really excited. Next week uh, on... Actually, on Tuesday. So two days from now, they're going to announce the last Super Smash Bros. player. And I'm so excited. I'm such a dork. <laughs> I'm like... I was telling Jules all about it. I hope it's Master Hand. And she's like, Lou, I don't care. <laughs> You're such a dork. I was like, yeah, I know. Marta, hello. Welcome. Thank you for coming in and saying hello. 
Well, let me know if you need any help crocheting. I would be happy to help. Last night, uh, I had, um, we had some friends over. Actually, no, not last night. Two nights ago, Friday night, we had some friends over to play uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and um, the the one of them didn't know that I crocheted, like especially that I crocheted so much. So I was showing them all my crochets. Oh my gosh, I want to learn how to crochet, and I was like, you should learn. I know a guy that can teach you. <laughs> And I was like, it's me. I'm the guy that you can teach you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Harp Millie Productions. Oh my gosh. I love that. I want to crochet, friend. Other than you guys, obviously. I want to crochet in person with someone. I just knit. Or Jules just knits. No one crochets. Well, actually, I take that back. She crochets sometimes. But she mostly knits. I want to go. You know what I really want to do? Actually, maybe you get. Maybe you could help me. This could be actually pretty fun. Okay, so here's my idea. I want to yarn bomb uh, a few places with goblins. I just want to cover a place with goblins. Um, like, basically, I mean, I don't really know where exactly yet. I think it'd be really fun to do it in um, the San Francisco Golden Gate Park. Uh. And ba, 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 ba. start saying, <laughs> sorry, Brent. Brent, you actually distracted me with the fact that your friend distracts you. Um, anyhow, uh, so I thought it'd be really fun to take a bunch of goblins and trolls and stuff, and find an um, like a good spot in the park, and just cover them in crocheted goblins and call it like Goblin City and make them into like little different poses like they're trying to cut down a tree or they're trying to like build a bridge or um, build a gate so that you can't get in. But they're all like little tiny crocheted goblins. And so, and just leave them there like for people to come get and then post something about them and say like, hey, if you want these goblins, you know, you can come get them or whatever. Uh, kind of like little fairy houses. You see them in Golden Gate Park all the time. There's like fairy houses there where people build little fairy houses and trees. And I want to do that, but with goblins. And it would be really cool if we had like just a bunch of goblins, like other people made them too. And then like we, I just put them there and, and like, you know, because I can only make so many goblins. I mean, that being said, I have made a lot of goblins. Um, okay, so we have our face pretty much done there. I'm gonna take a break from cro crocheting this body and work on a cape because I totally forgot to make the cape and uh, I really want to sew the cape on prior to finishing the body and I need to use the black yarn for the cape. All right, Brent, I'll see you. Maybe I'll see you next live stream. Please email me about that um, kit stuff. Just in general, also just email and say hi if you want. Yes to Goblin City. I know, wouldn't, be, wouldn't that be great? It'd just be such a great way to like do a, um, like yarn bomb my own way, you know? Cause people yarn bomb all the time, but they usually make like Six, hold on, seven. 13, there we go. Um, people usually yarn bomb and make like a, uh, like a big thing that they'll put over a tree, you know, like a, like yarn bomb is in like graffiti wise. I want a yarn bomb with just miniature things and make it seem like these miniature things have taken over. So I really want to do it. Um, I have done it a few times with frogs and uh, burbs where I just hide burbs places, but I haven't done it in like a large scale way yet, which is exactly what I want to do. I want to make it large scale where I do so many different uh, minis in one spot. And I mean, why not start with goblins, honestly? Yes, goblins attacking the fairy houses. This is goblin territory now. <laughs> that would be so funny. That would be so funny. 
So if I go back around it, okay, yeah. Okay, we're doing great. We're gonna have to make another one of these capes for our vampire later. By the way, Mama Bakes, thanks so much for subscribing. I just saw we got a new subscriber. Hopefully it keeps popping up with the new subscriber thing like it was supposed to. Remember last week I was like, is it showing it? Hopefully it's still working. I want to make, um, so what I want to make for the goblins, because uh, Amigurumi Boy says have them fighting on the tree. I want to make uh, two goblins or like a, a, a troll or something with a big axe trying to cut down a giant tree and then just do a little tiny cut out of the tree. Like the littlest cut, like they've just been like <laughs> trying to chop down a tree. I just think it'd be really funny. Oh yeah, have it be a, a war between goblin and kobold or something. That'd be funny. Elizabeth! Crochet's making a comeback and it's about time. Heck yes it is. Yeah, you know, I've noticed that a lot more people are crocheting than knitting. Uh, well, maybe it's just because of what I see all the time. But, yeah, I always talk to Jules about the the popularity of crochet and knitting because she knits and I crochet. And I just think it's really interesting that knitting kind of had this, like, you know, this trajectory of it being like, here, I'll chart it out with this yarn. So knitting's popularity went, like, in the you know long long time ago when knitting started it went like up and then like this and then like this and it was just like this forever and this is knitting it's always been popular but crochet was like it started over here you know like way later than knitting and then it was like oh, okay 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 let's make hats and stuff and then like in the 1990s when amy groomy became a thing um, or I guess like early 2000s, it went like this. And recently with the internet, it's been like, whoa, crochet is up here now. It's just way more popular because you can make anything out of crochet. It's just like, it's evolved in a really cool way. And I really like that. Hello, Sail. Yeah, I have to do like a shout out. Like, hey, we're gonna yarn bomb this place. Let me know if you want to crochet goblins, and maybe I'll send some kits out to people. And and then you send back the goblins that you crochet with those kits. Or something like that. Or you can just donate goblins if you want to. Donate goblins to the cause. Okay, so now we're going to... Um, actually, we don't need to add our eyes yet. Let's keep going. And uh, we'll add our eyes after a few more rounds. If you're crocheting along with me um, and making a witch, I'm currently on round nine of the body, more than halfway there. Um, we're actually flying right now. We're flying. We'll definitely be able to do a vampire today, which is going to be great. Cro yes, crocheting is the original 3D printing. You know what it is, Crafty Chats? It's 3D printing. I need to make a shirt that says I'm a 3D printer. Don't you think? Don't you think? Or pins. Um, oh, we need purple. Purple yarn. Say, oh, what's being made right now? Right now we're making a finger puppet of a witch. So this is what we're making right now. Is a little finger puppet witch. The the pattern is up for free at clubcrochet.com slash witch. Uh, and you can find all of my Halloween finger puppets and really all my Halloween patterns in general at clubcrochet.com slash Halloween. I even got up last uh, the pattern from the last live stream for our pump kid pattern. I put that on the website as well, so it's it's up there. Um, 
Okay, where was I? There we go. Where am I? Huh? What? Who am I? Who said that? Are there coming more Lupin Pearl? Yes, we just have been not recording our episodes recently. Um, so yeah, we have to. We we had a an episode prepped for next week. Um, but or, or I mean, we we were supposed to record an episode yesterday, uh, but then we didn't. So we have to record it like next week. Um, I, what I really want to do is I want to get my Halloween costume ready before we record our Loop and Pearl podcast episode, and that way I can be, like, in costume, but Jules doesn't know if she wants to be in costume the whole life, the whole episode or not. I'm like, no, it'll be fun! Wouldn't that be cute if we were in little costumes? I think it'd be cute. So, I have to order my costume online somewhere so it comes in time. Thready Kruger, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. I love that. That would be so cute. Ah, <laughs> Zoe, that's awesome. Are you, you're selling on on Etsy, right? That's so cool. I don't know why the stitch looks like it's off, but. Maybe it'll. Where's the Where's the one that's already finished? Oh shoot! I put the arms in the wrong spot. I mean, not the arms. I think I put the... Hold on. Hold on, I need to look at something. Purple stitches are just barely off, so I'm gonna move them over. Let's try this again. Oh, that's so cool! You get to sell them at the bakery? That's wonderful, I love that. Put Jimbo in a pumpkin costume. Oh my god. I totally should. Oh, oh boy. She would not like me to tell you that, Cooperlicious, but I will tell you anyhow. I'm pretty sure she capped a thousand hours on Animal Crossing recently. Uh, pretty, I mean, ooh, I think somewhat recently she did that. So, yeah. I think it's over a thousand hours on Animal Crossing. That's what she does on lunch break every day and stuff like that. Put Jimbona, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think one of the things that I really like about crocheting amigurumi is how many things you can make, how quickly. Like, Jules will make a sweater, and she'll be, she'll be making that sweater for a month, for like a whole month. She'll be just working on a sweater. Whereas, I'll be working on amigurumi, and I'll be done in like, you know, I'll, I can make like six amigurumi by the time she finishes one sweater. And that's that's like minimum. I can make six. I, I could. I can make a bazillion things before she makes one thing. <laughs> yes, her island is decked out. I think I have her uh, dream code. One second, let me find it. If anybody wants to see what her island looks like, it is it's seriously amazing. Like, 10 out of 10 island. Everything is in the perfect spot. It's perfect. 
Let me show, let me find the her island code. I think I have it on my phone. Oh, Brent just emailed me. Good. Oh, we got a new membership. A uh, new member from Nibblena Nibblenom. Nibblenom, thank you. I don't know if you're in the chat, but thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. And for becoming a Club Crochet member, let's put out a zombie for you. Here we go. So this one's actually still got uh, black eyes, which is kind of funny. I usually do white eyes for my zombies. But we'll put this one out with the black eyes. This is for Nibblenom for becoming a Club Crochet member. Thank you so much. And enjoy all the crochet patterns. Um, oh yeah, that's right. We want to make. I want to show you her island code. Let me find it real quick. I think I have a photo somewhere on my phone. Let's see. Cause I took a picture. No, that's my. That's not it. Where is it? Oh my god, there's a million pictures of jewels in like her sweater and stuff. Hmm. I can't find it. Oh well. I can't find it right now. I'm sorry. Hold on, one more one more quick glance. What's it called when you're like Oh, well, I can't find it. She'll be home soon. And I'll ask her for it. Um, what's it called when you, like, have already worked on something for so long that you can't let it go? It's like a law, uh, something lost, lost dividends or something like that. Anyhow. Oh, yeah, please like this video down below. Let me see if let's let's make a let's try to see if we can hit a hit a hit a record here. So it doesn't have very many likes right now. Oh, actually, yes, it does. It has 160. Wowza, Bowza. That's a lot. Um, OK, cool. Well, let's see. Last time I said if the last video got 350 and it didn't. Uh, so maybe it maybe this one can. Let's see. I don't think it did. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, it didn't. I mean, if this video gets to 350 likes, I promise you right now, if this video gets to 350 likes, I'll do another giveaway. No question. Actually, I'll bring it down. If this video gets 300 likes, I'll do a giveaway next live stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because the last one didn't get 350, so we'll bring it down. So if this one gets 300 likes, we will do a giveaway. Deal? That seems like a deal. That seems like a good deal to me. Two. Four. I'll put it I'll put it in the title so everybody under, knows that I made that deal. Actually, I'll put it in the description of the video. I'll do it right now. 300 likes equals a giveaway. You heard it here first. Give a way. There you go. I put it in the description of the video so that you know I'm serious. No, Sale, I'm going to be working on a vampire after this witch is done uh, as well. So we can make... That's what people voted on. They said, I want you to make a vampire and I want you to make a witch. And I was like, all right, I can do those. So the the only thing with um, the only thing with these pod people that I'm not like 
super duper proud of, but it's really the only option. I mean, I've made hundreds of these things and I can't find a better place for the eyes. But is uh, the eyes have to go in a very awkward spot so that they're perfectly even on both sides. Uh, and the spot is directly in the middle of a stitch. So in this stitch right here, here, let me see if I can get a good view of it. Yeah, there you go. So in the center of that stitch, two stitches away from the nose is where the eye needs to go. So like right in the middle of that stitch. It's the only place that makes it per like the perfect spot. So I have to open it up a little bit with the needle and then put the eye in there like that. See? Oh my gosh, I need to show you something that I made last week too. So let me finish this um, witch first, but Remind me that I have something really cool that I made that I want to show you. It's like so cute and so cool. I'm so proud of it. I'm going to make it a kit eventually. There we go. I'll go back to autofocus. Okay. Okay, so now we're. I want to add. Um, let's add a little bit of eyeliner first. I'm gonna do purple eyeliner because she seems like a purple eyeliner kind of gal. Don't you think? Oopsies. There we go. And we'll just go like this. Hey, Roco, Ros Rocio, thank you for subscribing. Perfect. Oh my God, that was a perfect eyeliner. Say parfait, we. Oui. Go on, say it. Say parfait, we. Oui. Sin agrees. Purple eyeliner kind of gal. Thinking about when you can get a Club Crochet subscription and get more yarn. Well, I hope that you can get all the yarn that you ever, ever want. Ever. I got so much yarn, I don't know what to do with it all. Hey, oh, 180 already. Wow, jeez. Only, what is that, 100 and something? <laughs> hundred and twenty eight? No, eighteen. Where to go? Good luck. I don't think we'll make it. I don't know about you. I don't know. Maybe. It'd be cool. <laughs> Back in a ball and oh no, I'm stuck in cops locks. Okay, we need to make this eyeliner match the other one or else she's gonna look like a real goof when it comes to the witch ball I want to try to get it under this eyelid or eyeball a little bit more That's not really where I want it to be. Let's try this again. I'm gonna use a, s oopsies. There we go. I'm gonna use a slightly sharper needle for this. Try to get it exactly where we want it. Usually I add the eyeliner before I attach the eyes just so I don't have to deal with this part, but I didn't do that because I'm a goofer. We 
want to write about I don't know. There. Eye surgery. There we go. That's that's a lot better. I like that. Yep. Perfect even. So every, um, well, maybe not every Friday, but a lot of Fridays, Jules and I really like to play Mario Kart online, battle mode. And uh, we run into this guy named Rick, like, not like every week, but like every now and then. And he's a total jerk on the live streams. So we change our names to Rick Hunter, and then we just hunt down Rick because he's really good and he's and he's just a butthead to play against so we really like to make him the villain and just battle Rick I don't know why I told you that but it's just something that we do that's it's one of our uh, our, our Friday traditions so if you're ever looking to play video games with me try playing uh, Mario Kart on Fridays around 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, and you might run into me on the battle mode worldwide. Okay, we need gold. Where did I put gold? Ah, oh, there it is. So we're doing a golden... I want to do a gold buckle in the center of her hat before I sew the hat on. Yeah, if you change your name on... on uh, the switch you can change it so that it'll be uh, whatever like it'll change the name in the game so we change our names to be whoever we want to hunt whoever's being just like a total jerk like hiding in the games or like just like insanely good sometimes you find people that are actually like hacking the game and, and so that they always win which is so annoying but it makes him a good villain. Everybody needs a good villain. That's not true. Maybe, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Okay. That's okay, Abby. Hello, welcome. Are you crocheting today? Crocheting today, Dan? Okay, so that's our start there. I just wanted to make a buckle, and then I'll do a, a wrap around the buckle. Give it a little detail. Hi, Gianna. Okay. Next is the buckle in purple. Or not the buckle, the the purple stripe around. I want to go just under that buckle. Chilling like a villain. So I've been playing Hades uh, the past week like a lot. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Hades before. It's a game on um, the computer and the Switch and stuff, but you're essentially like a Greek god. Or, or you're Hades' son, uh, which is, you are, so yeah, you are a Greek god. Uh, and you ha you're trying to escape the, like, hell. 
uh, and every time you die, you like restart, you know, you get sent back down and your dad's like, ha ha, I know you couldn't make it. And you're like, you're a jerk, dad. Anyhow, so I've been playing that a lot <laughs> this week and I almost beat it the other night. I was like so, so, so close and I was so bummed that I wasn't able to win. No! I had to go to bed all disappointed. Uh. My dad killed me. Oh my god, a Skeksis? If I ever made a Skeksis into a bird. By the way, if, I, if you don't know what a Skeksis is, a Skeksis is a, um, a character from the show Labyrinth. No, not Labyrinth. Um, the Dark Crystal. Um, well, the movie, The Dark Crystal, but then also the show, The Dark Crystal, which is very good, and I highly suggest you check out The Dark Crystal. It's a really creepy show uh, the and movie. The show is a lot better than the movie, in my opinion. Um, it's on Netflix, but anyhow, yeah, it's a very, very, very good show. I highly suggest you check it out. And there are these weird like creatures in the show, and which one would I make? I guess I don't really know them by name. Um, but probably the weird one that's like, mm, yes, you know, <laughs> you know, the, the, like the henchman one, it's an insane, insanely weird show. It's from Jim Henson studios. It was one of Jim Henson's like passion projects, uh, to make the movie. And it is a weird movie. It's very like, there's like, it's heavily lore based uh there's like a lot of uh st just story around it and um it's a weird one it's really weird but it's very good I, I like it a lot i have to undo this i don't know what i'm doing here we're just gonna have to sew the hat on a different way i guess because I accidentally threaded around this black yarn like a goober. Like a real goober. So we'll just have to sew this on a different way. That's okay. The series is so much better than the movie. I really, really like the series too. I think it is uh, it's very good. Actually, a friend of mine, uh, Barnaby, does... Um, puppeting in the movie uh, he was asked to come on as a mini puppeteer so he does these little miniature puppets that he makes with his hand um, they're very 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 impressive uh, check him out Barnaby Dixon on YouTube he's a very talented youtuber anyhow so he was asked to join um, the Jim Henson Studios to make the Dark Crystal and do a part of the show and it's very impressive you know what I might not even sew on the hat I might just like attach the hat like that just to save us time and also so that they can be, she can take her hat off if she wants to relax at home with her hat off. So yeah, I'm not gonna attach, I'm not gonna sew the hat on. Cause meh, I don't have to. But look at her head. <laughs> She's got like a little pointy head now. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling. I think the rest of this pattern is all black. So we don't need to change colors and uh, we're almost done. We just need to sew on the cape um, and make our... Ugh. Sorry, I'm trying to crack my back like a dingus. Yeah, Barnaby Dixon, there you go. Oh, there it is. The, the weekly neck break on the live stream <laughs> have I watched oh man have I watched any good TV shows or movies lately that I recommend yes 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 okay so let's start with uh, something fun so a fun show that I really liked is um, called Centaur World I really like Centaur World it's on Netflix it's um, it world like this horse gets thrown into this world where literally everything is a centaur. Like, 
the grass are centaurs. The uh, everything is a centaur. Trees are centaurs. Uh, the and there's a bunch of different characters. It's a very very silly show. I love it. I'm a big fan of it. Um, and I love the animator. Whoever does the animation, she's very or whoever does the art style, it's very impressive. I really like it. So that is a um, that is. Uh, a really good suggestion. I love that one. I uh, love that show. I've also, we finished uh, Squid Game actually like a week ago. Uh, Squid Game is a very crazy show. Uh, very good. Very bloody though. Um, it's a Korean show that is uh, on Netflix that is dubbed over. So uh, honestly, the dubbing is really good though. I think it's a, I think it's a really good show, but it is a little uh, graphic, a little graphic. It's a lot of graphic, like a lot of people die. So it's like, ugh, if you are not into seeing that, uh, I would suggest don't watch Squid Game. But if you don't mind that, it's a good show. Let's see, what else? Oh, we just finished Clickbait, which is another Netflix show, um, which was very good, but also a very heavy, serious show. And then another fun one that uh, Jules and I, our guilty pleasure show that we like to watch, um, we just finished it is called The Circle. It's so silly. It's, um, it is a, uh, it's like a, like a reality game show. Think like Big Brother, but everybody's in their own hotel room and they can only chat on a, like a, an app basically that's made for the show called The Circle. And you can only chat, like you can't ever hear anybody's voice or see anybody's face. So you either come into the show as yourself or as a, a, a catfish and you pretend to be someone else and then you try to become the most popular in the show and then the winner wins like a bunch of money. It's so silly. It's honestly, it's a great, um, uh, it's our, you know, it's our guilty pleasure show for a reason because it's not like great TV, but it is really fun. Oh, good night, Chirp. Oh my gosh, congratulations on starting a new school year. Uh, but yes, good night. I same, same Chirp a little. I both love and hate the circle. Um, look at how perfect. Like, oh my gosh, I love the stitches on this, on this witchy here. Oh, I just also remembered I need to make the finger puppet edition for the witch. The vampire is gonna be way quicker, which is gonna be nice because of the the witch takes forever because of the hat. But the vampire's just got a collar and a and a cape. The witch has got a cape and a hat and a, a broom. How much stuffing do I have? I have a lot of stuffing. Uh, I have like a few pound boxes. Um, and yeah, sometimes I buy like the, the huge, huge boxes of stuffing. So I have a, quite a bit of stuffing. Okay, so this is actually gonna be the end of our body crochet because we're gonna add a finger puppet addition to go on the inside. So we can just cut this. We're not going to sew on the hat because I don't want to, uh, but we are going to sew on the cape. So let me go ahead and get that started here. Whoa, cool. Molly, this was recommended. Heck yes. Hello, Molly. Welcome to the channel. This is Club Crochet. It's a crocheting uh, YouTube channel. Do you know how to crochet, Molly? You ever crochet before? And hello, Ruben. How you doing? Oh, to do su amigurumi move. I don't speak Spanish, but I am assuming that means that something good. So, gracias, <laughs> gracias, Sade. All right. So we are adding our cape. 
Yeah, I think we want it somewhat low, so we're gonna go ahead and sew it there. By the way, for anybody that's just joining the live stream, uh, we are making some finger puppets, f Halloween finger puppets that I think you might like. Um, we actually showed a little finger puppet show right in the beginning of the live stream too, if you wanna jump back and see what that was all about. New to it, you're from Ireland. Well, hello, welcome from Ireland. I know it's probably pretty late there, so thanks for joining in so late. If you want to, this pattern is actually free today. Um, I'll probably keep it free for a few days for other people that are joining that want to watch the live stream a little later. Um, but it is at clubcrochet.com slash witch if you want to try learning how to crochet it, all the tutorial there's a video tutorial on there too whoa cool Ruben this was recommended to you too wow we're hitting the recommended that is good news it's probably all the likes oh by the way if we are um, if we get to 300 likes we're gonna do a giveaway um, let's see where we're at where are we at on that 160 no no that's that's the old one yeah we're almost at 200 we might make it um, cool hopefully we do even if it comes, if even if we hit 300 after the live stream, I'll still um, I'll do a giveaway next time. Okay, a few more stitches here for our cape, and then we'll be good. Dude, Emma, welcome from Wales. Welcome, very, very much welcome. I have to do crochet from England. <laughs> wow, you guys are from like everywhere right now. This is awesome. I'm here in San Francisco. California. I'm a little Cali boy. And I am very much a Cali boy. Sometimes I say things, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm such a California kid. Living here on the beach. What are we going to give away? That's a good question. I don't know yet. Let's see. Probably a ghost kit maybe next week. Um, oh, dude, Stacy. Thank you. Dude, Stacy, you rock. Okay, so two things. Uh oh, oh. Um, someone's emails there. That's not right. Hold on. I'm going to do this for just a second because someone's email was their name which wasn't right but I'll fix that later um, but someone just two things one I think someone just became a pro member which is freaking awesome and two someone just donated donated I don't know why I said it like that so yeah someone did become a pro member oh that's so cool that's so cool okay so first off for the person that donated um, Stacy Stacy 64 thank you so much for becoming a uh, uh, or for donating. I really, really appreciate it. Um, for donating, I put out something cool for you. Let's see. Um, oh, I told I told everybody I'd put out a pumpkin. So this is for you. A little jack-o'-lantern that I made. Um, I made this a long time ago. But yeah, I, I actually have a pattern for this on the website too. So this is out for you, Stacy. Thank you for your donation. We're going to put it right next to this birthday gift for... Was that Chirp a little? No, that was Cold-Blooded Adventures birthday gift. And then for our pro member, we'll put out a, let's see, what do we got? What's, what's the fun little Halloween thing that we can put out? Frankie? Let's do Frankie from the, from the, let's do Frankie. So this is out for you. Um, we'll put out a Frankenstein for our new, newest pro member, Kristen. Thank you for becoming a pro member. Pro members get uh, crochet kits mailed to their door each month. Dude, Ruben is all the way in New Zealand. Wow. Hello from New Zealand. That's awesome. You are far out there. Okay, so we got everything there except for we need to add the finger puppet edition. So we need to crochet that real quick. 
How long have we been going for? Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Dude, scalpel and sutures. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. By the way, if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video. Uh, if it gets to 300 likes, we're going to do a giveaway for a crochet kit, Halloween themed. Maybe even Audrey 2? I don't know. Uh, and if you're not yet, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We do weekly crochet alongs just like this. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing ghosts. Uh, and then we also, I come out with new patterns like once a month, at least once a month. Uh, usually more, especially in October, I'm going to come out with a lot more. So make sure to subscribe. We make cool things all the time. And I think you would like it. Hey, Alice. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. See you, Amy Groomy Boy. Dude, Alejandro's all the way from Mexico City. Hola. Como estas? I've been learning, um, <laughs> I, this is completely random, but we're learning Japanese on Duolingo for the past few weeks. I'm pretty into it. Oh, dude, Emma loves the black cat Amigurumi. We have a Luna. Oh, a little kitty named Luna. Um, but yeah, I've been learning Japanese uh, for the past, like, few weeks. Uh, I learned it a long for a while in um in high school i did four four years of four yeah four years of uh japanese but i didn't remember any of it so i've been practicing it again and i'm having so much fun with it that app if you guys have never done duolingo before the app for duolingo is like crazy good ah dude zoe that's awesome Zoe said that she just got her um, Church of Perch shirt. Uh, that is so cool. <laughs> That's so cool that you have a shirt. By the way, Church of Perch represent... <laughs> um, for the newbies, what uh, I should probably explain what the Church of Perch is for newbies. So we got these things called burbs. Um, they, they're birds... Uh, that are disguised as other birds. So this is a seagull, but actually it's not a seagull. <laughs> it's, it's a burb disguised as a seagull. So I call these guys burbs. We have a bunch of different kinds of them. There's pigeons and owls and hummingbirds and parrots and all different kinds of them. They're my favorite. Oh my God, that's... Oh my gosh. You're so smart. Great idea. He can hold on to the witch hat while we finish up our witch. That is that is stinking cute. That's the church of perch representing. Love it. Ruben, thank you for subscribing. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Crack my back. Here we go. Oh, it won't crack. I'm just gonna break my back. Be right back. Just gonna break my back. <laughs> so right now I'm making a little finger puppet addition for our witch, so that we can turn her into a finger puppet. And then I gotta make the broom for her. But we're, we're like, we're doing pretty good. No way, Duolingo has Klingon? That's hilarious. I love that. I used to have a black cat. I love, I love my black cat. Very original name. My black cat's name was Blackie. That's what I named it when I was in like third grade. Or like when I was like, Probably like four, actually, so before elementary school. I love that cat. I miss it. It looked like, it actually looked a lot like Jimbo, but was all black. Why 
does this feel like small? Is there not nine stitches around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, I forgot an increase somewhere. Right there. Well, whatever. We'll uh we'll increase up and then do a little, a few more rounds. Burb witch. Bridge. Sooty? Oh my god, that's a cute name for a black cat. Like they were, they just got out of a... <laughs> that's funny. Whoa, really? The guy that made CAPTCHAs is the person that made Duolingo? Miyaka, that's a very interesting fact. I love that. What a unique, what a unique fact. I'll do a few more rounds here of single crochets. Just so the finger puppet, I, I kind of like messed up the finger puppet edition, but whatever. It's not a big deal because it's going to be on the inside anyhow. Yeah, let's do like at least one more round of single crochets. It kind of does look like a pilgrim, huh? Alice, that's a good. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I should do a pilgrim hat for 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 uh, November. I'm gonna do a party hat because it's gonna be Club Crochet's fourth birthday in November. So we're gonna do a party hat pattern in November. Nicole really wants me to do party hat. She really likes party hats. Nicole is my friend, uh, like basically partner on Club Crochet. She helps me put together all the kits and uh, yeah, she's great. I know Ruben, I don't know why. I don't know why people do that. But you know, it happens. Can't make everybody happy. Thanks for subscribing again. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this through the top of it. And then I gotta do a round of increases, but we're, we're almost there. And I gotta get my yarn for our vampire. Okay. Tordy and Artemis? Oh, wait, your cat? Yeah, your cat's name is Tordy? <laughs> That's so cute. That's a cute name for a cat. Torty. Are they slow? I used to have a tortoise named um, named Speedy. I loved Speedy. I wonder what Speedy's up to now. Probably still alive. And we gave it to a friend because I was moving away. Okay, so I want to add just a little bit of stuffing. Before I sew on the finger puppet part. Stuffing in the top. Finger puppet part is in. We just sew it together. 
Oh, a tor torres is the type of cat coloring? Hmm. I ain't never heard of that. I ain't never heard of that. You just applied for a job at a craft store. Well, good luck, Leaf Sauce. I wish you the best. Always and forever. So all I'm doing here is I'm just sewing on the finger puppet addition to the bottom of our witch. And before I get it too far in, I need to add some more stuffing. So I'll just do a few more of these and I'll add some stuffing. Uh, and then I just want to add a broom real quick and then we can move on to our vampire. But I do want to show you something before I move on to the vampire. So don't let me forget about that. Something that I crocheted this week that I think you guys are really going to think is cool. Okay. Okay, before I go any further, let's add some stuffing. Trying to get the stuffing on the other side of the finger puppet part. There we go. Um, okay. Let's finish sewing this up. Yeah, that's enough stuffing. I've been trying to crochet. Okay, so here's something that... <laughs> Here's something I've been wanting to do, but Jules thinks it's gross and doesn't want me to do it. Uh, so our cat Jimbo sheds like a lot. So when you brush it, you can get like a lot of excess fur off of him. So what I really want to do is I want to collect all this fur and I want to turn it into yarn and then I want to crochet a mini version of of Jimbo using his own fur. And, J and Jules is like, dude, that is gross. Don't do that. I'm like... No, it's cute. <laughs> it's not that gross. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that's super gross and I shouldn't do that? Because I think it'd be funny. And yeah, it's probably a little gross. But kind of like a silly gross, you know? Especially if I were to like wash it. <laughs> Thank you, Cooper. I agree. Leap sauce. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're getting some people on both sides here. Crafty Chats thinks that it's creepy. <laughs> Love it. All right, next up, let's add our broom. So I just need this little stick here. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. I, you know what, now that I said it on the stream and everybody heard it and I didn't, not that many people are saying it's gross. I like it. Dude, Cooper again? Oh, to see what's in the present? All right, I'll show you what's in the present. Ready? We're going to open, even though she's not here. Thank you for your donation, by the way, Cooper. It's a bunch of little hearts. Doo -doo. I love that you needed to donate to see what was in the present. Here, we'll put the hearts up like this. 
and the star that fell. And we'll put out something else for you, Cooper. Just say thank you. Let's put out one of the um here, we'll put out we'll put out Boo from next week. We're gonna be crocheting Boo next week on our live crochet along. So join for that and get the kit now if you want to get the crochet kit because it's five dollars off today. Um, you can find the link in the description for how to get uh, the discount code. So this is the weird part with this is is you just gotta go like this. This is how you make a broom. You just do that. Make like a bunch of loops like this. And then you go around the, whatever you're sewing it to, a bunch really tightly. Pull these loops out a little bit. Actually, let me do this again. Let's try this one more time. So we're going to grab it from up here, and then we're going to do it. Right? Wait, how do I do this? <laughs> Let's do it around the finger. Let's do it like this. One, two. Let's try it like that, maybe? Aha. Right? No. I'm just trying to figure out which side of this do I want it to be. I guess I can do it this way, actually. And just make it go up. Okay. And then I wrap around it. I know that part. I haven't made a broom in a long time, okay? Give me a break. Wrap around it as many times as you can. Nice and tight. Tight, tight like a toidle. And then you double knot. And then you take these ends. We hide them back into the knots that we just made like this. I don't know what I just did. Let's try that again. And then this end, same thingy. Like this. There we go. Now you just cut all these ends. Cut all the loops at the very end of it. And then it's a broom. I might need to shorten the broom a little bit. It's a pretty long broom for our witch. Yeah, let's shorten it just a bit. There we go. We'll just go ahead and broom, just brush that out of the way with our brand new broom. <laughs> oh man, I made a mess out of this orange. I'm gonna have to clean this up. Okay. And then we'll put this in our arm. That long. And then we'll just cut it. Ooh, I'm gonna screw up my scissors by cutting this, but whatever. Whatever. 
now she's got broom, she's got her cape, she's got her witch hat. Sorry, Mr. Burb, I need this hat. Da 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 da! All right, one finger puppet done. What do we think? Huh? Pretty cute. <laughs> it's my witch laugh. Okay, next up. Next up, we want to, uh, well, before I start my vampire, I need to grab the yarn for that. But also, I want to show you something I made this week. Check this out. You're going to love this. Or else. You're going to love this or else. Okay, ready? I'm so proud of this. So the other day, I was like, I was like, man, I want to crochet something just for fun. So I thought for a second, and then I had an old pen that I didn't really, it wasn't working really well. Right? And so then I was like, okay, well, uh, let's use the spring from this pen for a little bobblehead. I made a bobblehead. It's a me. It's me as a bobblehead. Isn't it cute? I think the nose is maybe a little bit too big. So this is just the first attempt. But I definitely want to make this a pa like a kit later. Not for me, obviously, but for like make your own bobblehead. Um, I just need to get the right like skin tones and stuff for everybody so I can do like you can choose your skin tone and hair color but isn't that cute it's a bobblehead and it holds like it it really holds in there see you can see the little spring in there I'm so proud of it beep, beep. it's so fun I have it on my desk so I just keep it there so Baba Head Louie. Okay, now let me grab the yarn. Yeah, tutorial definitely was gonna be is coming your way, Noodle Studios. No question. I'm definitely gonna work on a tutorial. I do look like Harry Potter. Okay. Um next up, let me get my yarn for Mr. Vampire. We need off-white. Uh, we'll need white, we need maroon. I don't know if I have any maroon, but let's find out. I think I have some here somewhere. And gray, we need gray. Do red for the shirt then, because I can't find my maroon. We need gray on. Okay, so we'll need gray, off white. Let's see, what other colors do we need for Mr. Vampire? Black, of course, we have that. We're going to use red instead of the maroon. And then, uh, green, green. that's it. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to start by making another cape just to get that out of the way now. <laughs> Bobbly Bob. That's my dad's name. I'll be perfect. That's my middle name, too. If you ever wanted to know what Louie's middle name is, it's Bob. Not a silly middle name. Robert, but you can call me Bob. <laughs> All right, let me fix this camera because I did just wiggle it a bunch. There we go. Okay. Oopsie that. Now I messed up this camera though. Like this and then, no, hold on, hold on. There we go. That works. Wow, this camera's like right up against my face now, but that's okay. This is a Luigi's Mansion ghost. Check this out, Lex. That's funny you say that. Look it, it's a Luigi's Mansion ghost. It's a little tiny one. And the, the hands are made with uh, pipe cleaner so you can move them however you want. But yeah. By the way, again, um, before I get 
There you go. I got a good neck crack there. Before I get going too quick on this uh, vampire during this little halftime break here, um, I let me pull up the pattern too. Um, let me do another quick little like spiel. Um, so first off, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I just really, really want you to know I appreciate you joining in. Um, we've had like 60 people the whole time. This is crazy. That's a long. That's a lot of people. Uh, so thank you so much for joining and just crocheting with me. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it down below and subscribe to the channel if you can. Um, uh, and uh, if you want to help support this, become a Club Crochet member. That's the best way to support. You can also donate. I'll put something out. You can see all these things out there for people that have donated. And um, uh, if you want to get prepared for next week's cr uh, crochet along, we're going to be making ghosts. We're going to be making... Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna try to do all of them because I think I can do them all in one stream So we're gonna do a uh, a regular ghost like this maybe with a fun little face We're gonna be making ghastly from Pokemon we're gonna be making boo you can see boo out there and I don't know where he is But pinky There it is we're also going to be making Pinky from Pac-Man and Boo. And the kit for this is on sale now. Uh, it's $5 off. You can find the link in the description. Um, but this is what the club the kits look like. It includes everything, including the needle felt and the felt for the ghastly there. And uh, it's a very beginner-friendly kit. So I put the kits uh, on sale. Uh, you can use the code in the description for an extra $5 off. And if you order it today, it'll come in time for the crochet along next week. So you can crochet with me using the same materials. So, yeah, there's my little spiel. Uh, thanks again for everybody that's watching. And let's keep crocheting. We're going to be making the... Hey, Chrissy! We're going to be making, uh, starting with the... The... Uh, the cape and the collar for our guy here. Um, there's no pattern right now. Oh my god, we'll make a ghost get Jack Gurgle. A ghost goblin. Maybe we will make a ghost goblin. That is a fun idea. That might that might just have to happen. So we're gonna be starting with a cape. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Uh, can I teach you how to make the go the ghost from Luigi's Mansion? You know, ooh, maybe it's kind of a tough one. I can kind of tell you out loud, but it is because it's so small and I made it so long ago. Um, I don't know if I remember how to crochet the pattern. I'll have to like look at it a bunch, uh, but I can try. Um, I maybe I can add it to like the like rough drafts on the website or something. Oh, and if we get this video gets to over 300 likes, uh, I'm going to do a giveaway next live stream as well. Probably for an Audrey 2 kit. I'm thinking that would be a fun one. Okay. How many likes are we at, are we at by the way? 200. I think we're over 200. Yeah, 216. That's not bad at all. All right, pretty good, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Dude, Cooper has donated so much. I really want you to know, Cooper, like you, thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. Took you forever to get the burbs right. Burbs are a tough one, I gotta say, especially the pigeon. That could be a tough pattern. Uh, the eyes, especially, can be a little tricky. Oh, and if you want to get the pattern that we're making right now, we're making a vampire right now. Uh, and the pattern, probably like a little Dracula. The pattern is at clubcrochet.com slash Halloween. Uh, and it is a cool color chart pattern, so it's really quick to make because... Uh, I don't know. I just think it's really cool. I'm really proud of the color chart patterns on the site.
But thank you for everybody for keeping me company on a Sunday. So the cape is really easy. It's just basically a little square of crochet. And we're going to do something similar for the collar. I think it's mostly single crochets, but the half... Oh, no. Slip, single, half, doubles. Hey, Cooper, remind me to hit you up after this about the, um, the dragon. Uh, I got an idea for adding the dragon to Stitch, and I want to run it by you. Dude, Phyllis, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Okay, now we're making the collar. I think I hear Jules. Walking up the stairs, man. Nine, ten, fifteen. We're speed running this go or this vampire. Wouldn't it be funny if I speed run, speed ran a uh, crochet? That'd be fun. Be exhausting though, I bet. Looks sort of like a cheese doodle? Well, it looks like a cheese doodle. Man, Ruben, you got a lot to check up on because we got so many cool crochet patterns. Welcome to the club, seriously. I, I really appreciate you uh, clicking that recommended button. I don't know if Jules is still going to dye her hair or not. She just got it cut, so I, I don't know. Part of me is thinking that she doesn't want to dye it anymore, but I'll have to ask her about that. I want her to dye it. I think it'd be cool, but... All right, so now I can finally start working on the main part of our vampire. And again, it's a cool color chart. Let me show you the color chart again. And I'll explain it a little bit for people that are just joining. So I like to build color charts for some of these patterns. You can see it right here. Also, there's the chat. Hey, buddy. Um, so this is the color chart. It's basically where all these different squares represent a different crochet or, or different single crochet. And you see by by making it this way, you make a little, it's upside down. So this is the head and this is the uh, butt. Um, there's the little feet, there's your arms. And every one of these squares is actually a check mark so you can keep track of where you're going there. Brackets like this, connecting two squares means that it's an increase. So both these squares go into the same spot. And then squares like this where they're half color changes means that the top of the stitch is um, off white and the bottom is gonna be black there. And then there's stitches like this, that means it's gonna be a mini bobble, and those stitches like that means bobble. If the brackets look like that, that means that they're worked into the back loops only. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It makes crocheting way quicker, especially doing like a lot of color changes, it makes it way quicker. That would be cool. A bigger version of the of the uh, Luigi's Mansion ghost. I think that's a good idea. If I'm going to do it, probably. Instead of doing like a little mini one. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Thank you, Sin. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of uh, the color chart. I really need to use it more often.
I sure am, Desiree. We're working on our vampire now. And honestly, I don't think this part's going to be that long because all I really need to make is a body. The I, I need to sew on the cape and stuff, but that's really not too crazy. I really want to start doing little tiny kits for these crochet ones, especially ones that have a lot of color changes. Because I think it'd be really cool to do miniature kits. That are like really cheap, you know? I call them uh, pocket patterns or something. I think it is the Don't Starve soundtrack in the background. I'm starting the soundtrack over. A Snoopy vampire is spooky. The vampire is a snoop a poop by Scopey. <laughs> Maybe that coffee is finally kicking in. Hey, Jonna! Welcome! This is what it's like to join the live streams. Welcome to the live stream, Crochet Alongs. We're making a vampire right now if you're crocheting along with me. How crazy is it that uh, Luigi's going to be Charlie Day in the in the Super Mario movie? Isn't that funny? God, this just seems so funny to me. And that and that uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Pratt is going to be Mario. <laughs> what a weird decision that they've made. I mean, I'm going to see it though. gonna make so much money probably I hope it doesn't sound too weird though See how I can like fly when it comes to these uh, pod people patterns. You gotta make them for them, Phyllis. They're so easy. They're just color changes. That's the most difficult part, but once you start getting the hang of the color changes, uh, I think it really is not too tough. Because they're all pretty much just single crochets with weird color changes in it. Have I played Luigi's Mansion? Heck yes, it's probably my favorite, one of my favorite Switch games is the new Luigi's Mansion. The old Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube was way my favorite game on the GameCube. I loved that game. Uh, I beat that game so many times. Uh, Luigi's my favorite Mario character. Um, I don't play him on Super Smash Bros. because I really like playing Yoshi, but I really, really like Luigi because uh, my name uh, Louis is actually uh, derived from Luigi because I am Italian and so my like ancestor I don't know which one but up there was named Luigi and then it some somewhere along the line changed to Louis so I really like Luigi I'm a big fan so I really like Luigi's Mansion and I just like Luigi's Mansion because it's like just a, such a unique game such a unique idea. I, 
I think it's gonna be hard to tell the difference in the video of this gray or the this off white and the real white, but there was a pretty big difference in person. Yeah, I agree, Zoe. I think it's kind of unfair to voice actors because there's so much talent that comes with being a voice actor and they just kind of get biffed because they just want to put a famous actor as the voice so that people come to see the movie. And I think that's not very fair. Am I doing a stream this Wednesday? No, I'm not. The next stream will be Sunday again. Um, I'm going to do two Sundays in a row just because uh, it's like worked with my calendar that way. So, yeah, I'll be back live next Sunday, same time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I, it's going to be a ghost crochet along. So I'll make sure to uh, post like a post about it probably tomorrow, like really early. Yeah, I want to make a we can even do we can even do those weird ghosts from the new game too, like the like the box one and stuff like that from Luigi's Mansion. Oh, you're still having trouble making characters that you're, I'm making now. Your gauge is defeating. Huh. Well, Johnny, hmm, I wonder how I can help you. Um, maybe send me some pictures and I might be able to help, like, uh, cater to, to make it a little bit better. Um, it might be that you maybe just need to use a smaller hook or... Uh, maybe that, like, I don't know. I know a lot of people use um, yarn unders for crochet instead of yarn overs, which doesn't really work for my color changes. So that might also be something. I don't know. Um, but I'd really like to help if, if I can. Do I crochet around the second color yarn when I'm doing the rounds with color changes? No, I actually don't. I usually do it just for like one stitch, uh, but I don't do it for all the stitches. So actually, let me show you right now because I'm about to change to use our red. So here's where I'm gonna change for our red yarn. And I'll show you how I do the color changes. So you place the red yarn over it, right? And I place it in between in between the yarn on the hook and the end right here and take the new one and take my index finger and I hold it down with my index finger and then I take my non-dominant index finger and I put it in between the two colors like this and then I flip the new color in okay so always in not like the other I mean I couldn't even do the other way if I wanted to but it's always under like that and then I yarn over with the new color and I pull it through and then pull tighter with the new or the old color and then for these next stitches, a majority of the next stitches are going to be half red, half uh, skin tone. So I'm going to do, like, I'm going to keep switching colors. So now I want to use white for the next stitch. So I'm going to flip back under so white's on top. Go into the next stitch, pull through with white, and then switch back over. Boom. Yarn over, pull through with red. White. Red white and then the next few stitches are all white now you can crochet around the red for the few stitches but pretty much any time I want to change colors I pull it off to the side and crochet without crocheting around it because I don't want the colors to bleed through my yarn you know because I don't really want you to be able to see the changes of the colors through the yarn you can kind of see it here see how that black is just barely popping through there that's what I'm trying to avoid as much as I possibly can. See you, Ruben. Thanks so much for joining and welcome to the club again. Okay, it's, it's just the tension that's prob problematic. Hmm. Yes, what Sin said also, tug on your stitch before continuing. So like, look, I'll finish that stitch and I always, I do it like subconsciously, I tug on this stitch to pull that one tighter and I tug on this stitch to pull that one tighter. 
So I like, I correct the tension after making the stitch, after every single stitch. And once it, it's just kind of a habit now for me. So I go boop, boop. But when you do this color change method, you'll see the yarn gets like really tangled up. Um, watch, see how it's like becoming like a candy cane here? I'll show you how to undo that in a sec too once I finish this round. Oh dude, we got a new member! Linus! Linus, if you're in the live stream, uh, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. I'm going to put out, let's go with, that's a sassy ghost. Mm. What's this? Oh, okay. Let's put out, let's put out the evil mad scientist from our finger puppet show. He'll go on top of Frankie there. That's for you, Linus, for becoming a Club Crochet member. I don't know if you're in the chat, but regardless... Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. I really appreciate it. Let's see if that, no. Okay. All right, so this next round has a lot of working in the back loop. So we're just gonna go keep rocking and rolling. And now I need my regular white, not my off white even though I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see the difference. It's worth a shot. I can grab my yarn. Let's see, where are we at with likes? Did we make it? Nope, I don't think so. That's okay. I mean, we already have more than last live stream, so it'll probably make it to 300. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Strength placement. Oh, this little dude? He is so cute. Well, evil mad scientist. I think that's what you meant. I like this red actually for our vampire. I usually use maroon, but this red's looking pretty good. Wow, we are seriously flying with this vampire. It's only been half an hour. We're already like seriously almost done with it. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's keep going. Back to white. Okay, hello, McVentus and Halbira. Welcome to the stream. Both of you guys came came at the same time. Welcome. How are you doing today? Man, my back is acting a fool right now. I'll sit back a little bit. One, two, three, four, five.
this white or off-white? See, I can't even tell the difference between the colors. Can you tell the difference? Between the white of the shirt? I mean, ba like, almost. You can kind of tell the difference, huh? <laughs> yeah, Jonna. I know, I'm like flying here I'm just I'm in the zone you know Jules and I play this game called fairy squarey um, where we it's like it's really called um, Poyo Pon I think it's on the switch it's on like the SNES yeah the SNES emulator and we love it and sometimes when I play it you get like so in the zone that you start thinking about something completely different and I love it. You know, you have you ever played um, have you ever watched uh, uh the the Soul movie from Pixar? It's like a newer movie about like souls. Uh, it's really good. Anyhow, in that movie, they talk about being like when you are in the zone doing something, and that's totally what it feels like when I play uh. When I play Fairy Squarey, even though it's not called Fairy Squarey. Uh, before I keep going, let's add the eyes. We don't need to do any fun eyeliner or anything for these eyes because they, he, uh, vampire doesn't, doesn't like wearing makeup. He doesn't need no makeup. Yeah, I don't, I like 90% of the time, Zoe, don't slip stitch chain one at the end of my rounds. I almost always just continue around. So. Uh-oh, I'm being attacked by a ghost, probably. But in the beginning of my my uh, pieces, it usually says worked in the round without turning. Uh, yeah, in a spiral without turning. Which means that you don't do that slip stitch thing. Although sometimes I do when I want to do like perfect stripe color changes. Every now and then. Hello, Kukul? Cool, cool, Gaming. Hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all the bless yous. Zoe's feeling like red eyeliner would work out. I don't know, but look how cute his eyes are. He's so cute. I like him. I like him the way he is. Well, I could try red eyeliner. No. Maybe. I don't know. We can, we can add the red eyeliner a little bit if we want to. Um, okay, we need our gray yarn now. Jimbo's having a conniption out there. He's like, can I say hi to the stream? Maybe later. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's someone's blood. Have you guys ever watched um, What We Do in the Shadows? The show? Um, if you ever watched the movie, the movie's also very good. But the show is great, too. Uh, and Jules and I have been watch watching that show a bunch recently. It's very good. Chubzilla. I haven't made a Chubzilla in so long. I should, though.
you do these half color changes for gray so that the pants uh, line up correctly when we get to that part. And maybe I'll add the, I'll probably add the cape and collar after I finish the pants and the legs. Okay. Back over to gray. Done with our red yarn. Da -ba -da -ba. Gotta love it when you're done with the color. You have to. You have got to love it. Or else. Or else. Making the feet now. Okay, Kukul Gaming is the pattern currently available. Yes, it is. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash Halloween. You can actually find all of my Halloween patterns there. Um and uh, there's actually a bundle. So you can purchase like the whole bundle for I think like eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. Um, I did make the witch pattern free today. So if you wanted to make the witch, uh, give it a shot. Um, and I think the zombie also might be free. I'm not totally sure. Um, but yeah, both of those are available on the site. Uh, just uh, clubcrochet.com slash Halloween. Okay, making our second foot now. Oh, that's cool. Said that uh, Lion King is premiering their show again in Cleveland. That's awesome. I saw Lion King once on Broadway. It was very cool. Super duper impressive. I love the puppets for that. It is like so impressive. Yeah, I think you'll really like the witch one. Um, I'll keep the witch one free for the next few days, so try it then. Um, the PDF I don't think is going to be available for you to download. I think you'll need a membership account for that. But also, you can try a membership account if you want. It's totally free to try out um, for a week, and it gives you access to all the patterns on the website. And then let you know, let's see if you want to keep it or not. And then uh, if you don't, you just unsubscribe and that's easy easy as a squeezy lemon peasy okay before I keep going here uh, I want to add our cape in our little bow tie um, yeah okay so let's start with the cape do it on the inside of the collar. I 
like these. I know, I actually don't have the mad scientist pattern out there yet, so I should probably work on that too. But again, a million patterns already come out with in October. October especially is like the one where I'm like, oh, I want to do so many patterns. So I really want to do that. I want to do a crow burb. I want to do, um, I'm doing the Audrey 2 like tomorrow. So, all right, cool. See you later, Cooper. Thanks for joining. Yes, I made the witch earlier. I'm also working on a collaboration pattern with Sir Pearl Gray, which I've been like slacking on but because I'm a butt nug, but I gotta work on that too. We're doing reversible critters in November together. Um, and so I got to crochet my reversible critters. He did like a corgi and a, um, a panda, I think. And the, I want to do a chameleon really bad. And I don't know what else for the second one, but I definitely want to do a chameleon. Cause I thought, what a fun reversible one. You can make it like red and green. So he's like angry. Dude, do drawer. I think that's how I say your name. Draw, draw her. Anyhow, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad that you've started crocheting and let me know if you want any help. Uh, but that is so cool. Like, welcome to the club and welcome to your new favorite addiction. <laughs> Cause crochet is a hard habit to get rid of, in my opinion. But. Not, it's not a habit you want to get rid of, so that's okay. Red, oh, this? Yeah. I have a red nose. This is uh, from the... The camera is connected to it, so I'm like right up against the camera. So I wanted to fix the angle. Okay, so cape is on. Next, we want to add the collar. And, uh, and do little fancy footwork in the middle there. I think we'll thread this inside one first. I think this is how it's gonna work. Let's find out. Yeah, Pascal, that would be great. I should do a Pascal. I actually made a miniature version of a chameleon a few days ago, like the frog and stuff, but it was a chameleon. I like it a lot. I don't know where it is though right now. I think the cats took it. They took it for the room. They do that with some of my little crocheted stuff. They take them and they hide them and they end up under the couch or under the bed. But what you gonna do? Oh yeah, it's exactly like the reversible octopus. I should do a reversible octopus also, but there's so many reversible octopi already out there that I want to do something a little bit different, which is why I was thinking of chameleon. I gotta do two though. So I don't know what to do with the second one. Maybe a, uh, I don't know. I want it to be another animal. Maybe a cat. Actually, a cat would be cute. It'd be simple. It's 
For my cats, all toys are cat toys. Actually, for my cats, all things are cat toys, they think, at least. They turn anything into a cat toy. Especially Jimbo. He loves to play. I feel like this collar is enough. Yeah, there we go. So now we're gonna add a little bow tie in the center of him. Look at this, look at that, isn't that great? I love it, love it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do in the center. I wanna make it go like, I think what I do is I go this. Well, let's look at the finished one real quick to see. Oh, I did it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna do. Cool, so if you go like this. I think this is a pretty fun way to do a collar, or I mean a, a bow tie that and then I go across to the other side do the same thing and then I go right through the center like this see so you do two lines on either side there and then you go right into the center and then you go around both of these ends like this one two and back to the center And I'll pull it together. Boop. Now it's got a cute little bow tie. And then we got two ends that I can double knot together. Okay. Oh yeah, it could be Grumpy Cat. That's a great idea. Okay, so uh, next up we need to decrease down for the body. We're almost done though. Wow, still 50 people watching, crazy. You guys are awesome, you guys are so cool. Oh, we got a new member. Oh no, wait, did we? Oh no, that was the other member. That was the last member, okay, never mind. Um, okay, what was I doing? Dude, normal gecko! Oh my gosh, thank you! Oh, Jane! I totally missed two donations! I'm so sorry! Jane, thank you so much! Let's start with Jane here. Jane, let's see, what are we gonna put out? Something Halloween-y for Jane. Oh, here we go, a little bat! A little bat. So this was last year's pattern. It's a little tiny bat, there's a magnet in this butt so he can hang upside down, and the wings can actually, like, they're, they can be folded in like that. So he's hiding, and then he goes, rah! So Jane, I'm gonna put this little bat out for you. Thank you so much. And then, uh, uh, who's the other one? Oh my god, the normal gecko. Oh my god, so get this. Normal gecko says, Hey Lou, I'm Cooper's boyfriend, and I love all the stuff you do. Though I don't crochet myself, I've seen the work you're doing, I'm absolutely incredible. And it has given this man a wonderful outlet and his first creativity. Keep up the good work. Normal Gecko, I don't know if you are in the stream right now, but I want you to know that you are an amazing partner. Like, what a wonderful boyfriend you are. Uh, thank you so much for your donation. Seriously, for you, let's put out... Oh, here we go. This is a special one for you. It's tiny, but it's impressive. So this is for you, normal gecko. A little miniature skull. Super duper tiny skull that I made out of embroidery thread. Um, it can go on, we'll put it on, a, we'll put it on a needle like this. Super metal. 
and it'll go in the pumpkin. Yes. Boom. Thank you, the normal gecko. And apparently we're pretty close to the 300 likes. That's what everybody's saying. Yeah, only 50 more, I think. Not bad. Not bad. All right. It probably won't happen this stream, uh, like during the live stream, but it'll probably happen after the live stream. I mean, maybe you guys will go crazy and like it a bunch before the end of the stream, but it's okay if it doesn't hit it before the end of the stream. As long as it does before next live stream, I will do a giveaway. Put your bat here, Jane. Ah! Dude, thank you. And you're still there? Oh, I love it. You're wonderful. What a wonderful person. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Claire, you're funny. Don't worry about it, Claire. It'll happen. Mel's Crochet Corner. Hello, welcome. Thank you. We're making a little tiny vampire right now. We're almost done. We just need to make the finger puppet edition and uh, stuff them up. I'm so close. And Jimbo, just in time for Jimbo, he's like, meow. Oh my god, I can put, I should totally put the skull on your cat's hand. There you go. Perfect. Oh, here, we'll pin it. We'll pin it in. So it didn't fall out. It's like a hot, it's hollow on the inside, so I could put it on the end of a something for a goblin. That's why I did that. Eat on him. Oh no. There we go. Wait. There we go, Johnny. Now you, now your cat's got the skull. <laughs> it's metal. All right, now we just need to make a uh, last thing. Oh yeah, a little magnet, that'd be cool. That'd be a great idea. All right, we're just gonna put that right there. Clean up our workbench a little bit. Five and six. Okay. Now, guys, uh, please, uh, oh, well, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to get that frog and pugs and the mouse and the, and the cat to, um, the rough draft ASAP for members. So if you are a member, um, I would really appreciate it if next week or yeah, sometime next week you check in on the rough draft patterns. Um, you'll need a membership account to get them because they're not finished patterns yet and unfinished patterns you need a membership account for um, just to view and give me feedback. I'm looking for feedback on them though. So keep a lookout. I'll probably try to get them up there tomorrow. Uh, but if they don't get up till by Wednesday and you are looking for them, bug me. I would appreciate a bug uh, for, for getting that to be done. Oh, yes, Johnny. Absolutely. I'll make sure to get a good uh, position for, your, for you to get a screenshot. For your little, uh, for your skull cat. Your pumpkin cat with a skull. What's your pumpkin cat's name, Johnny? Do you have a name for him? I gotta remember him though. We need to start a little like, uh, what's it called? Like a, uh, 
and uh, like a, a database of just all the names for different characters that people have given so we don't forget them. Oh, there's Jules. Just in time for the end of the stream. Good timing. Photo gallery. <laughs> I know, right? The werewolf is super cute. The furry yarn. I really like using the furry yarn for him. If you get to 300 likes in the within the live stream, I'm going to be very, very, very impressed. But you only have like a few minutes to do it, and I don't think it's gonna happen. But that is okay. Yeah, if we yell it loud enough, maybe she'll hear us. Yeah, hi Jules. She'll be in just a sec. I think she. I mean, she just got back from like a big social gathering, so I don't know how much social she wants. But dude, you donated again? Oh my god, dude, normal gecko. You are, dude, you're the sweetest. Thank you so much, the normal gecko. Whatever your name is, I really want you to know I super duper appreciate it. <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank you. Let's see, what do we got for you? Let's put out, um... let's see. I'm running out of crocheted Halloween characters for everybody. I'm shocked. Um, here, I don't think you've seen this yet, so I'll put it out for you, Normal Gecko. Uh, this is a, a little slime, a slime cube. You know, uh, 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 oh gosh, you know what? I asked last time what the name of these guys were, and someone told me, and then I forgot. Slime, monster, slime. Dang it, I can't remember what the name of these things are. Slime cube, whatever. Anyhow, he's right there. I'm sure someone's about to say, it's obviously this, and I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe I don't remember it all. But I super duper appreciate the no donations. Anybody that um, has, <laughs> your name is Isaac. Dude, <laughs> Isaac, you're wonderful. Let's put out, uh, I'll put out a boo for you. He'll go on. He'll go on your little slime cube, gelatinous cube. Thank you. Gosh, why do I keep forgetting the name of that? Um. So Jane, you want? Oh no, wait, Johnny, you wanted to name your your cat uh, Sebastian. I love that. It's a perfect name for that guy. Doctor Emmett. Is the name Emmett from Back to the Future? Huh. <laughs> Dude, Cooperlicious, you're <laughs> you guys are so silly. Yes, have a bidding war. I I dare you. Let's go with a Oh, let's go with an alien. This is for you, Cooperlicious. Uh, I mean, with your with the millions of things going on here let's go with uh the little slime uh, the little brain slug from futurama we'll go i figured that was kind of halloweeny right we'll go behind he'll go behind your boyfriend's gelatinous cube there we go so yeah. So I just want you guys to know, I really, really appreciate the donations. I am like so close to being able to quit my job and be doing Club Crochet full time. I'm like so close because currently I have another full time job. Um, so like while I do all this crochet, all these patterns and stuff, which I, I mean, I you can probably assume it's a lot of work. 
So I just want you to know, I really appreciate it. Uh, every single donation gives me a little step closer. And everybody that becomes a member, same dealio. Uh, just a step closer to making my dream come true. I've wanted to be crocheting full time since high school. Um, and I remember uh, my dad in high school was like, hey, maybe you should think about something else because I don't know if you're ever gonna make it. And I, I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna crochet full time one day. And I'm like, I, my goal right now is I turned 30 in January. So my big goal right now is, is to be able to quit my job by 30. Um, and I'm pretty dang close. And it's all thanks to you. Seriously. Everybody that joins these live streams, everybody that donates, everybody that likes these videos. I, you are making my dream come true. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate you being here. Thank you. And just like crocheting with me. I mean, crochet is the best uh, art in the world. And it's just so nice to have that, to be able to share that with other people. Yeah, today I was like, um, we were supposed to go to a, like a birthday party. And I was like, well, I mean, I can go after my live stream because I want to join the live stream first. Uh, and then the birthday got canceled and I was like, I don't really even care. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm crocheting anyhow. I'm doing what I want to do today. Okay, so we are adding a... Dude, Johnny! Oh my god! What? Dude, what? Stop it! Oh my god. It... You're gonna make me blush. You're gonna make me cry. Johnny, thank you so, so much! Oh my god. Hold on, I'm gonna, I gotta bring out something big for you, Johnny. Something that you get to name that we don't change. We, we, we remember the name of this. So let's do like a goblin or something. Not like a goblin, but like a big character. Because, you know what, Johnny? For that insane donation, you get to name a dragon. You get to name the blue dragon. We don't have a name for him. So you get to name our blue dragon, Johnny, for that insane donation. Whatever you want it to be named, we're gonna remember it. I'm gonna do my ding dong dangdest to remember the name of this dragon. He'll be right there watching over the live stream the whole time for the next few minutes of the live stream. But Johnny, seriously, oh my gosh, you're crazy, dude. Thank you so much. You alone have, like, you're crazy. Thank you. Thank you. You believe in the dream. You're wonderful. Get to name it whatever. Dude, Desiree! Oh my god, we got a train going on right before the end of the stream. <laughs> I'm not going to have any room to crochet. Um, let's put out, uh, for you, Desiree. <laughs> Um, this evil ghost, but like it's a happy evil ghost. He's like, yeah. <laughs> we'll go right here, Desiree. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you, Johnny. What do you want to name your dragon? And uh, Desiree, you're so. Sweet. Thank you. I know that like not everybody can donate and like every time someone donates, it's, you know, coming out of their bank account. So thank you. Nurgle Wave Maker. Okay, Nurgle, <laughs> Nurgle Wave Maker. Nurgle Wave Maker. Nurgle Wave Maker. Okay, oh man, I need to do a, like a, uh, Yeah, we need to create a like a a thing for this, like a like a page that we can go to to remember all the names of them. Nurgle Wave Maker. Oh I love that. <laughs> Nurgle Wave Maker. Okay. 
I feel that ghost's face. I know. He's a little bad. He's a little nasty boy. Oh, bye, Coco. I didn't see you say goodbye, but goodbye. You're still here. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, if we actually just gave them name tags. That's not a bad idea. Okay, just a few more here. And our finger puppet vampire is going to be done. Which means, unfortunately, we're going to be done until next week. But no worries, we'll be back in just seven days. Oh, Johnny, seriously, that 50's still there. It's just so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. You're just the, that was so nice of you. All right, so... Gotta tuck these ends in. And I think we're like almost at the what we were looking for. For like we're almost at 30 300 subscribers. So it'll be there by the end of the um by the next live stream, I'm sure about it. Usually after the live stream we get like another like 10 to 20. So I don't know why it's not showing the newest tipper on the screen there. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what, how I messed that up. I'll have to fix it. Oh, my name, yeah, I'm Louie. Hi, Maeve. I'm Louie. <laughs> I am I am the guy that runs Club Crochet. I am Club Crochet. Well, actually, we're all Club Crochet. I'm just the head hooker. Club crochet would be nothing without you. Okay. Our vampire is Stephanie. In his beautiful. Here's what we made today on the live stream. We made a little witch and we made our little vampire. Both of which are finger... Both of which. <laughs> both of which are finger puppets. And they're in love. Okay, guys, stop it. Stop! Gosh, <laughs> rated R. Um, <laughs> oh, the witch lost his hat. Her hat. Louis the Loopster. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you next Sunday. And again, last last plea. If you want to crochet uh, the ghost with us, we're gonna be making we're gonna be making a regular ghost. We're gonna be making Pinky. We're gonna be making Boo. And we're going to be making Ghastly. If you want to make these with me, uh, with all the same materials that I'm going to be using during the live stream, um, order a club crochet or order a kit now for the ghosts. Uh, if you're a pro member, your, your kit is on its way. Um, here's what the kits look like. Boop. And it's got everything, including, uh, it's even got a, um, let's do this really quick. Wait, let's do this. It's even got a, uh, a needle like the needle felting needles um, for making the Gasly's like ghost stuff. Uh, and if you use the code and check out, if you're, if you go to order it today and use the code ghostbuster, um, it, there's the code is in the description. It's G O G H O S T B U S T E R. Uh, if you use that at checkout, you get an extra $5 off. And if you order it today and if you're in the United States, it'll get there in time for the live stream. So this is your, like, chance, though. So order it now uh, if you want to. And I'll be back next Sunday for crocheting a bunch of ghosts together. Same time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here. And everybody that's come into the stream, thank you so much. Everybody that's a member, thank you. Uh, everybody that's donated, oh my god, you guys are wonderful. You made this the largest, I think one of the largest donation days we, I've ever had. So, 
Thank you so much. Um, and oh yes, you want your screenshot? Yes. Okay, here. Let's get your screenshot for you, Johnny. Do you want all the other things in the background? Oh, and you want the dragon in it too. Okay. There you go. Here, wait. Let's do one at a time. Let me spread them out so you can get the screenshot. Okay. All right. So there's your ghost screenshot. So you can go ahead and crop it out, you know. Ghost with a with gecko's skull. It's his skull, actually. It's not a crocheted skull. It's a human skull. <laughs> so there's your screenshot for that one, and here's your screenshot for your little for the dragon, your Nargle, Nurgle, Nurgle Wave Maker, right? Yeah, Nurgle Wave Maker. We'll do we'll do one this way like this. Here, we'll give him a little turn to his head. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, guys. Pasta La Pizza. Oh, no, he lost his skull. There you go. Pasta La Pizza. Happy hooking. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a week. See you in seven days. Uh, oh, and if you're a pro member, your pattern, the pattern for um, our, our monthly pattern, this will be out by next week. Uh, it'll be out probably tomorrow, maybe two days. I need to edit the video. It's a long video. So I need to edit the video first, but, um, yeah, this was the pro kit this month. So, um, the pattern should be out very soon. I'm sorry. It hasn't been out yet. Uh, usually I'm a little bit more prompt about it. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I'll, I'll try to crack my neck just for you. Aquatic Luna. Yeah, I got it. Okay. No, oh my gosh. No, you hang up. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God, you're so bad. Stop. You hang up first. No, you hang up first, Bobby. Oh my God. Stop. You're so brat. <laughs> I love this inside joke. <laughs> it's so funny. You hang up first. Yeah. Oh my god, Cooper. You're so brab. <laughs> no you sin. Okay. <laughs> Bye everybody.